Silver totally looks like it could blow the top off this trading range real soon. Stick around and I'll show it to you. Hi, this is Tim from TradingStrategyGuides.com. Today's trade pick is a trading range on Spot Silver. We'll have a look at that shortly, but first we've got a few active trades to look at and later on today's trading maxim. Happy Monday! I hope you guys in the U.S. had a great Independence Day Saturday. Remember to click the subscribe button and hit that bell so you won't miss any of these great trade setups. Let's have a look at the active trades. The U.S. market was closed Friday for our Independence Day holiday. So the chart is pretty much the same right now on Sunday night as I record this video as it was on Friday. Tesla gapped up to over 1200 up here on Thursday, which is roughly a gain of about 13% on our second position. As I mentioned in Friday's video, the parabolic SAR is tracked up here to 9.3629 and as of right now that's where my trailing stop is situated locking in 38.19. I closed this Australian dollar US dollar right here actually it was on this candle when I closed it just after 9 p.m. Thursday night because Thursday's bar closed above this triangle that I had drawn right here and I showed you on Friday's video. The momentum of the original break is just totally gone. It died and went into this consolidation and seeing it break above the triangle leads me to believe that the original trade plan is just totally done. So I closed the position right here at 69.27 for a 74 pip loss which is roughly 1% on this trade. Litecoin annoyingly still going sideways. It's caught in a range you can see between here and about there. So the original momentum on this one is also gone. The difference between this trade and the Aussie US dollar trade is that this has already hit its first target and we've got profit on it. So I'm going to let this one go until it moves on or hits our stop right up here. We're waiting for this PSAR to track down so that we can start trailing the stops. And that's it for today's active trades. Let's take a look at today's trade pick. Today we're looking at a trading range on silver that dates back to late May. Just to be sure everyone understands, a trading range is a consolidation with a strong support level like this one at 1735 and a strong resistance level like this one up at 1840. Price just sort of bangs back and forth between these levels until it eventually explodes out of the range in one direction or the other and I'll take a break of a trading range in either direction. And as a nice confirmation of this consolidation, we have a decline in volume and volatility right down here. Volatility is the amount of daily movement of the price, and I measure it with the average true range, or ATR, which shows the average length of the last 14 candles. And here's the trade plan. We're going to buy a daily candle close above the range, or above 1840 or we're going to sell a daily candle close below the range or below 1735. The stop loss will be one and a half times the ATR and the first target one times the ATR. On the breaking candle we want the volume bar to reach up here to the volume average for a full size position. If it doesn't quite reach the average but does reach 75 percent of the average I'll open a half size position to reduce risk. You can calculate that number by taking this volume number right here, dividing it by this volume average, and you should get at least 0.75. If you don't get at least 0.75, then I suggest that you stand aside on this trade. If after entering the trade we get a candle close back inside the range, we'll take the loss right then and not wait for it to hit the stop loss. Our intention is that a breakout of the range should be explosive and hit our target fairly quickly. If the momentum goes away, we want to shut the trade down without taking a full stop if possible. When the price hits our first target, we'll close half the position for profit and set the stop loss to break even on the remainder. We will then follow stops as price moves in our direction until the market takes us out. 
Typically I do this using two positions. The first position has a stop loss and a take profit. That position will close automatically when the first target is hit. The second position will only have a stop loss and that's the position that will be allowed to run. When the first target is hit, we will have to manually move our stop loss up to break even on the second position. I will only risk about 2% of my account on each trade. And that's today's setup on Spot Silver. Remember my intent here is to tell you how I manage these trades. If you've already got a good trade management plan, use it. Things that work for me may not work for you. You have to understand your own mind to find the best strategies for your trading. And speaking of understanding your own mind, that's my intent for the trading maxims. The maxims help me control my emotional impulses and keep me on the straight and narrow path. A maxim is a general truth, fundamental principle, rule of conduct, or a proverbial saying. The purpose of my maxims is to motivate me to discipline in trading as well as other areas of my life. I suggest you start your own list of maxims, things that you can say to yourself while you're trading or doing life to make sure you always do the right thing. Feel free to borrow from my list. And today we're going to dive into the archive for today's maxim of the day. Tim's trading maxim number 53. Work is doing it. Discipline is doing it every day. And diligence is doing it well every day. This is a quote from Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey is an American radio show host, author, and businessman. His books and podcasts improve the lives of thousands with his wisdom in the areas of finance and money management. This quote sums up much of what I want to get across to everyone. Trading is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's not an easy money scheme. It requires work, discipline, and diligence to be successful. Stick to your plan and you'll make this thing work. Remember our silver trade plan for today. We're going to buy a daily candle close above the range or above 1840, or we're going to sell a daily candle close below the range or below 1735. If the volume is not quite average, go half size as long as it's at least 75% of the average. Your stop loss is one and a half times the ATR, and your first target is one times the ATR. And remember to click the link below to the trade management video for more details. And don't forget to sign up for my free trading picks email list to be sure you don't miss any of these great picks. I send out about two or three trading picks a week from all different markets and you'll get to see them first. Best thing about it is it's free. I'll put the link below this video. And don't forget to come back to the Trading Strategy Guides YouTube channel every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time for my new videos. Don't hesitate to ask any questions you may have. I'll either answer your question right in the comments or in a training video or both. And remember, the only stupid question is the unasked one. Don't miss the next installment of the Trading Education Series on Wednesday when I'll talk about how to use margin and not get burned. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, don't forget to hit the thumbs up below, have a great week, and I'll see you Wednesday.